Even though the 90 Day Fiancé Season 9 Tell All Part 2 focused upon Ive and Mohammed, they didn't cover everything. The special filmed in June, more than a month before Mohammed Abdelhaim's cheating texts leaked. The Tell All did include a tiny blurb at the end, sharing hints of Mohammed's cheating scandal. But it didn't really answer the question. Are they still together? Yvette Ariano and Mohammed Abdelhaim seemingly got their happy ending on season 9. But they had a lot of bumps along the way. Deep down, they seemed incompatible. I've had already changed her diet, drinking, and wardrobe to please him. Mohammed wanted more. Also, he hated her friends. I've squad of friends are everything to her. It was appropriate that Tatiana appeared at the tell all. Tatiana, who is a total knockout by the way, had several lingering concerns about Mohammed's behavior. While filming the tell all, she was both direct and fair while discussing cultural differences and interpersonal clashes. Mohammed had not had a good first impression of the squad. Part of it was the topics of discussion, like sex. He also disliked them for how they dressed. But while Tatiana did touch upon those topics, she was more concerned about what Mohammed said on the show. On the tell-all stage, she had a simple question for the rest of the cast, had anyone else demanded another sponsor? While some of the non-American partners had discussed the idea of returning home, no one had gone quite that far. Not even Biniam and nodding along when his sister suggested that he get his green card no matter what could compare to Mohammed's threat to find a backup sponsor. Mohammed was also quick to defend his ego. Overall, he did not leave a great impression upon most of the cast. Jibri Bell, however, predicted that the two of them would last. Then, the last minute or so of the Tell All Part 2 included footage from more than a month after the Tell All. The video of course covered Mohammed's text messages to another woman. Please like and subscribe to my channel and the click on the bell icon to get new video updates. These were not ambiguous messages. He wrote to her about wanting to meet her and keep her in bed. He also disparaged Ive, wrote about resenting her son, and declared that he could not stay in his marriage. Let me be clear. Of course I blame him as well, I've affirmed in a follow-up post on her Instagram story. First time I get to say anything though, she pointed out, referring to her NDA. Imagine finding out something this huge and having to wait more than three weeks to discuss it publicly. One of these women was still married as well, Yvette revealed. You know, it's very shocking, raw, disappointing, saddening, I've expressed on the show. He chose to spend his time focused on starting other relationships and engaging in activity that a married man should not be engaging in, she lamented. I asked him if I could see his phone, and that happened and I saw inappropriate things, I've noted. I saw pictures and calls, she detailed, and put the pieces together. And NBSP, Mohammed also decided to share his side of the story. I met a girl online. She was very nice, I thought we, were, friends. Mohammed alleged. And then, things started to get bigger. I've saw my phone, he said. She saw the text messages, and that's how I've knew. And NBSP, while Mohammed tearfully pledged to, make, the situation, right, it sounds like he wasn't telling the whole truth. I texted these women and told them, and Lesquo, I am a married man. Please stop texting me, he alleged. I know I did wrong, Mohammed added. I told the same story to my wife and promised her that will never happen again. He then claimed, I do love Ive, and she doesn't deserve that. And NBSP, Ive and Mohammed likely recorded those segments weeks ago. In the meantime, she has not been able to speak directly on the topic, but she has scrubbed all traces of Mohammed from Instagram. Yvette has also shared a series of posts about breakups, some of which seem to be mistakenly blaming the other women. Thank you ladies for sharing your stories of infidelity, heartaches, and amp, pain, she wrote on Sunday night. Obviously, we are not alone, she acknowledged. Why commitment for some isn't a commitment? I've affirmed, there's lots of healing that needs to happen in this world on so many levels. 
If you don't want to be exclusive just say so, so people can make their own informed decisions.